Hello, everybody. This is Uncle Mongo in Feeding the Beast, episode 32. Uh, welcome to a new show. We're going to do something a little different today. Well, first off, look at this. I decorated a little. I got the ceiling all tricked out. Uh, look at that. We've got proper portals set up. And an emergency book stand. So we have the engine room where we do our quarrying and whatnot. Quarry's been moved over there. We need to, wow, you can see it on the mini map. We need to fill the old hole. <clears throat> the merry old hole is she. <coughs> Pardon me. Then we got the engines themselves still running. I haven't got around to setting up the room with the assembly tables and all that yet. But we'll get there. Then we have an egg. So we got a lot of fuel. Wow, this is getting close to halfway. Oh, hello, Mr. Chicken. Goodbye, Mr. Chicken. And a decent oil deposit. So, wow, there's the quarry doing its thing. So there's not been much change here other than the fact that now we have a lot of fuel. I think these are all still full too. I haven't run the fuel pump in a while. Uh, but we're clearing out a spot over here for something that I'm going to tell you about in just a little bit. Let me give you a hint. Oh, let's put this back. We had a small accident over here a little while ago. Didn't he put watermelon? Yes, he did put melons. Alright. And the big change... So apparently if you're going to make a stand like this with a bunch of... Uh, or a station like this, <coughs> what I had done was just run the crystal all on the bottom and all along the top and so it considered the whole thing one big uh, portal so it wouldn't let me do extra stuff so and then we got this interesting little thing see it's a world with uh let's see where's the wooden tendrils crystals and glowstone so this is a mining operation of ours Mostly for glowstone and wooden tendrils. Or wood. Go through there with a the laser set on explosive and rips the place apart quick. Uh, 113? I don't know why we saved that one. We also have... Is it this one? Yep. Oh, end portal. Yep, they found... <coughs> it, uh... Otis and Orthio were going through the Twilight n Forest, not Twilight Nether, I think the, that's a different game, and they found a, they, f nah. they found a, uh, well, an end portal uh, from, like, part of a dungeon, or, you know, a stronghold, so, we got this set up. We also have this here. Whoop. See? I got a crystal chest set there with the with for to which I can simply extract what I need. And we have chickens made a uh Proper er, er spot for the chickens. Oh lordy, the chest is full again. All right, well I'll have to come back and take care of that in a minute. Let's get rid of all the eggs. But well, let's show you downstairs. Da, 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 da. Yep, <clears throat> those are all barrels of smooth stone. That's cobblestone. 
See, look at all this prettiness. We drop off proper allocated drop off chest here. Matter of fact, just to send them through the cycle so I don't have to deal with them right now. And then I'm going to toss these in here for right now. But yeah, so I got a miscellaneous. What? That shouldn't have gone. What? He dropped all the drop off stuff in the miscellaneous chest. That's comedy. Or the system's clogged, one or the other. Alright, let's see what happens. Where's the dirt chest? Why is there no dirt in the dirt chest? There should be a lot of dirt. See, here's the new system. Aha! Hoppa! Yep. Comes through the macerator. Goes through a hopper. And then let's check on this macerator. Diamond. Yep. It's all in there. And it's set to full tilt. I have this stone in here to block anything from getting trapped in there. Yeah, see, there goes all that iron we just put in. Trickles down through the hopper and into the uh, furnace. Best part is, is I can throw in the tin, the gold, or the tin, the iron, and the copper all at the same time. And it just goes through. And with the macerator being set up this way, it also... Hmm... See, there's two. There's an input line here, and oh, I kind of cheated for the other input line. <clears throat> Here, let me show you the roof. Whoa! Hover mode. Yeah. See, there. That I removed. I relocated the world anchor right there. But yeah, see, it just pulls out and spits it in through a uh, phase pipe. But this is the setup. I have a feeling we might have drained a chunk of the nether because that's no longer full. So that's something I need to go check on. Let's see what happened on the other side here. A lot of trees gave their lives so that we might have a nice functioning. Ah, see? Diamond, gold, bauxite, silver. Got a whole stack of diamonds out of that. Uh, gold dust, bauxite, and silver. Voila. Easy, cheesy, lemon squeezy. Maybe it's makeup, maybe it's cover girl. So there. Or maybe it's Maybelline. Whatever. It's one of those things I'm not supposed to know anyway. Guy stuff. Well, John. Anyway. <laughs> Talking to myself in circles again. Oh, I was going to start putting that stuff. So, pardon me one second while I sort this out just a tiny bit. So, I want that, that, and that in there. I got lapis over here. So, I need to get this last of this cobblestone. Well, actually, I slowly, I have been slowly dumping it into the drop-off chest. Which has been slowly filling this up. And I'm thinking about moving the redstone over to that wall. But it's going to wind up taking up a whole row. Because I've already got two barrels of it upstairs. So this is what we're doing down here. Now over here, I blew a big freaking hole in the mountain. By accident. 
see, yeah, right there. So I need to fill that in. <clears throat> I'm going to run power over to here. And this is where I'm going to set up the lasers and the assembly tables. So it's, it's in planning. So here you go. Step one. Set up a place to do what you need to do. I'm going to run the power over the top. Step number two. Start doing the damn stuff you need to do. Uh, yep, we're getting there. It's a slow, steady climb. We've been going through mist craft books still, trying to find that elusive dense ore. And hence why we have... Um, well, hence why I had a, the stuff to make all this without even thinking about it. Didn't even bat an eye. down here with this now, aren't I? Yep. Good lord. Alright, let's see what we need to do. Okay, so I do have a carpenter and a thermothaumaturgy crafter. <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure the next thing I need is a B-Elizer and something else. I've been watching videos. Oh lord, if I've been watching videos. And not much of it makes sense at all. Okay, a Bealizer looks kind of... Oh yeah, and I need to find out how you get honey. Honey. Um, anyone see the Bealizer? And I just don't see it. That would be a Bealizer. Wow, it takes diamond? Okay, Carpenter. Oh yeah, Carpenter needs water. Carpenter got into water. That's what I was going to do with... Okay. We got one of those aqua Aquafina filter things. Uh, ha ha, the aqueous conducer. I'm wondering how cheaty I can do this. All right. So bear with me. You get to watch Uncle Mongo be sneaky cheaty. Is there anything coming through the line? Oh, yep. Yeah. I love it when this thing's working full tilt, man. It doesn't even pause. Yeah, and we're still getting cactus. I need to fix that. I really do. Okay. Super sneaky TD. So... Under this machine here... Let's give me a little bit of room to work in. Okay, that's the carpenter. Can I just do this? And just output through the top. Right? Yeah. Well, the water's going somewhere. Um, keep getting the electric engine. I can't get the carpenter clicked. All right, let's go around and check on the carpenter and see if my little trick works. Because if this worked, that'll be awesome. And it's getting water. All on its own. <clears throat> Pardon me, my throat's a little... Well, just wiggy up ED. Okay, put you in there. Alright, redstone, diamond, bealizer, redstone, diamond, tin, glass, pane. 
Okay. Glass pane is still up top here. Uh, glass pane. Yeah, see, I think we got plenty of diamonds. And tin. So let's make a bealizer. <clears throat> Bealizer. Two glass panes. Four tin redstone diamond redstone. Okay. Redstone. I do have to build that in the carpenter, yes? Carpenter. Glass pane. What's up? Why isn't it letting me put in the recipe? Hmm. Oh, that's right, you got a left click. Um, no, the glass panes went down the middle. Tin on the side. Diamond in the middle. And a bealizer. Now, I only want this making one, right? There. Okay. We have a bealizer. What else did we need? We need... How do we get honey again? She showed that. I'm probably going to have to watch it uh, again. Caplet, honey drop, honey drop, centrifuge, honey dew. Honey eyed slice. Hmm. <clears throat> Well, we got our bealizer. Now, what we do, I think, if I got this right, click that there, put the B. Oh, we need honey. Arr. Well, <clears throat> guess what I'm going to be doing tomorrow, guys? We got to find some honey. So, I'll be figuring out how to get us some honey. Hi, Otis. He's been doing some uh, marvelous things to his world, too. Hope you all enjoyed the show. Uh, happy Christmas Eve. See you all tomorrow for a special Christmas Day episode where I play with bees. So, enjoy the show. See you guys tomorrow. Have a Merry Christmas. Bye-bye.